I know you're scared. It's okay. I know. I'm not going to let you get hurt. I'm sitting in downtown Detroit with this dog that keeps sitting in the middle of the road. And I don't know what to do because she's scared. It's okay, baby. That was really scared and there was no way I was leaving her there. So for about an hour, I sat there outside in the snow and cold just talking to her. Come here, baby. I know. Come here. Come here, baby. Come on. Come on. I know. Come here. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. Come here, pumpkin. If I try running up on her, she runs away. And I don't want her running into the street again. She has a collar and a choke collar on. Like, she ran away from somebody. She had a leash on. I truly believe that she escaped. And she went to sit, saying, okay, I'm out in public. Nobody can hurt me now. Come on, baby. Please come. She's literally shaking. And I don't know what to do. And I can't make her come to me. I have no treats. I know, baby. I know. Sit down. I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah, her hair's standing up a little bit now. She's getting scared. Her. There was three of us out there for a long time trying, trying to gain her attention and her trust. Don't go nowhere. Sit down. Please don't go nowhere. I got to get in my truck. I am freezing. I don't know what to do. And finally, after a four and a half hours, Trina came with her slip leash, which is a more gentle lead, and wrapped it around her. And then she really panicked and started rolling. And she got herself kind of caught up in the lead. And Trina just sat there, let her calm down. And then after about three minutes, she was relieved. <laughs> Amen! Yay! <laughs> Kelly actually transported Cardi to me, and I thought it was just going to be a fostering situation, but just about the second that they closed the door, Cardi's dad looked at me and said, Nope, no, she's my puppy. <laughs> they were cuddling the first night. <laughs> yeah, I laid on the floor with her for like six hours. Oh yeah, they have a very special bond. Very, very special. We actually fully, completely moved out of our apartment just for her. We were like, there's no sense in rescuing a dog if you can't give her the life that she deserves. And she did that first lap around the house and like really looked around. And I mean, the paper was still on the floor. Her joy, her excitement, I feel like she really knew that that was her. She's really, really come out of her shell and she's always ready to try something new. Even if she's kind of scared, nothing can stop her. Comment and subscribe.